One of the primary goals of the Marcos administration is to provide a decent house for every Filipino. Thus, since day one, government has been working tirelessly to achieve that goal and the president has been at the forefront of the ceremonial turnovers like the one conducted earlier today in Balanga, Bataan. Joshua Garcia has the full details. On the 82nd day of valor, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. led the ceremonial turnover of housing units from the NHA Balanga City Low-Rise Housing Project in Bataan. The initiative aims to provide proper housing for informal settler families or ISF, particularly those living in danger zones. Ito pong pabahay ay handog ng pamahalaan para sa inyong pamilya. Mahalin at ingatan natin ito mabuti upang magsilbi itong pundasyon ng inyong mga pangarap at magagandang kinabukasan. Narito ang inyong pamahalaan, lalong-lalo na ang lokal na pamahalaan ng Balanga, ang panlalawigang pamahalaan ng Bataan, upang gabayan kayo sa lahat ng oras. Edwin, who once lived and grew up by the riverside, was all choked up, recalling their old house sinking during heavy rains. He's deeply thankful for the blessing of a new, more comfortable, and above all, safe home. Bata pa ako, sir. Elementary pa ako. Ay, nilulubog kami, sir. Oo. Hmm, nababahay yung bahay namin doon. Malaking bagay sa amin yun na kami nagkaroon ng kwa. Babahay ng gobyerno, uh, ligtas sa baha, uh, magandang tirahan. Maganda pong programa ng ating mala presidente. Over 200 families or around 1,000 individuals receive certificates of award for residing in danger areas along the Talise River. This is the first housing project established in their area, providing significant assistance to the mayor's constituents. Karamihan naman po ay may long history na po uh, dito po sa, lalo na po sa Talisay River, na marami pong nakatira sa danger areas. Kaya napakakailangan po talaga ng mga proyekto na ito uh, para po sila po ay mailikas na para po tuwing tagulan, tuwing habagat, ni na po laging nag emergency rescue po para sa kanila. The NHA Balanga City Low-Rise Housing Project not only provides housing, but also includes public facilities like schools, multi-purpose buildings, basketball courts, and community centers, ensuring beneficiaries have access to essential services nearby. The Department of Human Settlement and Urban Development is committed to putting up 6 million homes and eliminating informal settler families by 2028. Basta itong 1 million ito, nakalatag lagi. Ibig sabihin, nakaplano na, meron, meron ng beneficiaries, may LGU na, at may mga kontraktor na pinag-uusapan dyan. So, sunod na taon, lalatag ulit kami another million para yung katunod na yun ay tuloy-tuloy na. So every million, after three years, every year may de-delivered na. Local government officials and provincial employees also attended the said activity. Joshua Garcia from the National TV Network for New and Better Philippines.